I'm going to show how to repair a copper to aluminum leak. You can either saw it off and solder it and then pray that the aluminum holds or just put a piece of copper in and do a solder copper to aluminum solder using the Lucas Millhopped AL822 it's the same solder that they use on all the joints so you don't need any nitrogen just solder it right up like you're soldering plumbing I'm almost ready here so I cleaned up my coupling swaged it fit right on the pipe and we're going to solder this side copper to copper, the left side copper to aluminum. These fittings, the way they fail, is the seal is just right there, the copper to brass. And if anybody bends that pipe, it just pushes in the copper, makes these things leak. And there's really no way to fix them. I mean, you can solder it here, but you got to use silver solder with special flux or I'm just going to do the aluminum to copper connection and then make sure I clean out the chips I just saw that so you see all the chips in there now on this side I just used regular stay bright solder this is the uh, like 6% or something like that silver soft solder and uh, on the aluminum side, I'm going to degrease it, some non-flammable degreaser first. And then I'm going to lightly sand it with clean sandpaper. Even though the aluminum oxidizes literally in a second. <clears throat> it, uh, the oxide will be very thin and the flux in the solder actually breaks down the oxide and allows the solder to stick and a nice thing on that mill house is you don't have to clean the flux off some of the other aluminum solders you have to clean the flux because the solder will just eat everything this one just just like soft solder just solder it and go solder here. Come around this side and get it. There we go. <clears throat> so you can see it feathers nice. I mean it looks just like factory because it is factory solder. But you don't want to. You definitely want to leak check it because it tends to only go in when I tore a joint apart. You know, maybe an eighth inch to a quarter inch. It doesn't fill the whole joint. But you don't need to. But you want to make sure. I always hit it twice. If you got a pinhole, it's easy enough. You know, just hit it again where the pinhole is. All right, here's the joint. I did have to hit it two more times. I had some, uh, first time was really large pinholes, and the second time smaller. And what I found is that you gotta use such a tiny amount of heat, it's not even funny. And it never leaked on the bottom, because I never got good heat on the bottom. And, uh, but I was having some trouble on the top. So you just, this is a tiny amount of heat. 
it's like almost like uh, you know you don't think it's hot enough then you're at the right amount of heat but you can see we got good feathering on the joint there's my blob because I wasted ten dollars worth of solder and uh, but I mean that joint should last be good to go all right so that's how you fix copper to aluminum solder joint I hope you liked watching the video thanks for watching